Good guys, we are back again here with my good friend Borak from uh, from Trading Channels. I think it's been like two weeks, excuse me, two months since we last spoke, um, and we started to chat a bit today. Um, if we want to have you know to meet up again, uh, decided not to do it. Then I was actually on my way to go to bed, and then you wrote, "Are you up?" And I said yes, and I turned the computer back on, and here we are. So uh, it's great to be back, Borak, with you as always. Yes, um, always great to be back. Always great to talk to you, Kasper. Um, I was I was about to make the video only for the members, this miners video. Ah, okay. But then I thought, okay, we haven't made a video for a long time with Kasper, so let me wake him up. So. <laughs> and so you did. And so you did. <laughs> oh, it's good. Yeah. It's good. You're going away for a few days also, so we might as well yeah. get it done now. So that's uh, that's good. Yeah. Going to We're watch going... some some football, I guess. Yeah, going yeah. to Germany for cool. to, to watch two matches, uh, Saturday and next Tuesday. So, yeah, it's gonna be, be fun. great to Friday. I'll be off a little bit until Wednesday. I'm 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 not gonna be totally off. I still make them <laughs> make my videos and into the, I I live with my laptop. So, but yeah, probably there's gonna be a little bit less screen time, much less screen time over the next like from Friday all the way. To next tuesday but then i'll be on full um so yes we we would like to discuss with you guys uh the um, the uh, miners yeah so um i think uh my first miners video uh have we done with you like we did the uranium video with you casper but have we yeah. done no, minor I... we hadn't we had done minor video i think my first minor video was by myself back in march um okay. and then yeah. a lot of things happened and then we did one video with you now again loads of things are happening um because of the yeah the nature of the metals um very interesting days very interesting breakouts bullish breakouts obviously in the over the last couple of months and the miners are still lagging but i think they are ready to catch up big time yeah me so, too me too. Um, I really do. They are they are like some of them are coiled for such big moves. So I have in my list 44 miners. <laughs> so it's a lot to cover. I'm gonna try to go ahead and cover all of them because I know we don't have that much time. Um so yeah, I'm gonna like yeah, I can see you know a lot of this a lot of the miners you have there also is also some of them that I, you know, track on a daily basis yeah. and give yeah. updates on. So that's great to see your point of view. And hopefully yeah. we, we kind of, you know, agree on the same things. So, yeah, the, the good thing is um, most of the charts speak for themselves and uh, yeah. rather simple charts, because that's what I, that's what I like. So take Simplicity is, is good. Not too simple, but simple enough <laughs> to, to make conclusions and catch the price action. So, we start with GDX, with the gold ETF. Um, we have this blue resistance there that basically, it became a resistance, of course, after the third touch, you can't call it a resistance. So I can't call the green one as a resistance if it, unless it gets there, pulls back and then breaks. But first we need to clear this blue resistance. Obviously that green support, the breakout of the red downtrend, it's back, perfect back test. That was the double, double support back in March. That That's why the March video uh, was literally the best time to make a video. And then since then, if only like GDX has gone from 26 all the way mm -hmm. to 36, and this is only the ETF. So loads of, um, uh, a lot of miners ran really well. So I'm expecting this blue resistance to be broken at the next attempt. And the green one, may get completely neglected i mean completely ignored and then obviously the breakout should get beyond the, the highs of 2020 and further up um i think our target if you if i make something like this this could easily go all the way to 60 70 80. so once that breakout is complete i think the minimum target i would say is going to be this bottom so that that green bottom band so that's that's 
yeah, around 80. Um, junior miners, gold miners, and uh, we have this green uptrend, first, second, this is the low of 2016, 20. This green one is looking very good. I thought it's going to come down, touch the green one, green bottom band one more time while it's staying inside the red downtrend, but it didn't. It actually broke out of the red, back tested it three times, and then we got to the blue resistance rail, and then we cleared that. The obvious target is that black top band, obviously, uh, first of all, yeah? First, it has to get to that black top band, and we will see whether it becomes a major resistance. It may, of course, get completely ignored, and then we should get to that green top band. That's the ultimate target for at least for for the next couple of months, maybe even years. It can get to 2025, 26. I don't expect a straight up move, obviously. But um, you can see when, when they start running, right? This is what happens, right? It's They can move really fast. So is it the next leg starting here? Maybe, because you can see here, this is a good momentum here, but it really has to... Everything, a lot of things have to come um, together to to say, okay, we're going now. And um, that includes silver miners. That includes the GDS, the, the GDX, the first one I showed you. So that's why I'm watching a lot of correlated charts. Sometimes one of them gives a really good um, uh, indication and the other ones don't. So it's almost like watching NASDAQ, S&P, Dow Jones, Russell, even though they are different in the indices, some of them are giving us much better signals at some point and some others don't. So that's why I tend to watch uh, a lot of correlated markets to get better signals. On the uh, SIL, the SIL uh, ETF, this is the, the, the dangerous bit. So you can see, um, I said the gold miners are looking really good and silver should follow. But you can see without breaking this red top band, okay, this is a potential bear flag. I'm not expecting, obviously, for it to come down here and break it. I'm not expecting that. But what I, I'm not expecting, but I'm hoping that we break this red top band and that would be the failure of a bear flag, which would mean we're gonna get to the green resistance for the third touch excuse me, fourth, you can see this is the eye of 2011, 20, 21, and then we should break out if that red top band breaks. So any move above 37 would look very bullish for the SIL ETF. SIL J, and this is the juniors, <clears throat> um, we have this green major resistance. You can see it tried to break it so many times here. First, so one, two, three, back in 2021, but so and then failed big time. Then the red bull flag, one, two touches here, two touches at the bottom. We broke out, back tested. This is why, like the junior miners, are looking slightly better compared to the the big guy, the big guy SIL. And is it? kind of like I thought maybe we broke this one up and then we'll keep on going, but it didn't. So it's kind of dropped back below that broken resistance, which is obviously slightly disappointing. But as you know, this is a bullish breakout out of the red channel, which means I think eventually we're going to get to the green top band and break out. This is aftermath silver from Canada. The uh, red resistance was broken. The and uh, we have like we had quite a few touches, but what matters here is the green sideways channel that has been broken, and we're back testing it. And from here, I'm expecting more upside. It's it's basically back testing, and unless it, of course, unless it comes down too much. But normally, under normal circumstances, the previous resistance becomes a support, and we should be headed to much higher, ideally all the way to the golden top band, which would be a new all-time high. Okay, so that's, you know, 35 cents. It could get to five, $5, four or $5. So 
big upside if it can do that. Uh, Abra Silva, also can Canadian. The red resistance broken. The golden diagonal is broken. We are we have the blue uptrend. The green top band st um, stopped it. So we had a nice breakout, but I had this as a potential resistance and it came down from there. This here obviously is a kind of a bear flag, but I don't think it is going to break this golden and red and blue support. We may get a backtest on the golden, but then after that, I'm expecting this green top band to be able to break, which would be a long entry. I think at 325, it would be the break out of a, an ascending channel to the upside. That, of course, is always very bullish. But Burak, uh, <clears throat> if you go back to the Abra, I think if you zoom in on this drop that, that we have just seen there, go to the one hourly or two hourly time frame. That's actually, you know, a very bullish uh, falling, you know, bullish Which price one? action there. Yeah. That one there, you can see it's basically like a bull flag or... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So so very bullish, you know, short-term price action here. Oh, yeah, so, true. Very true, yes. You know, that's that's very nice to see, you know, getting this, the pullbacks that are very, you know, within a bullish structure, that's all, always good for me to see. So that's really good. Yes, I, I, I love those kinds of things, like very orderly pullback, yes. break out, and then the green top band to be broken. So, yeah, this, ha this has huge upside. If 325 can be broken, this has massive upside. So one of the good ones here. Yeah, this is also the ones that I, you know, have the most in, you know, amount of... Uh... Of money in that one in APRA. It's one of my oh, highest. Oh, nice one. So. Nice one. Um, okay. Uh, this is First Majestic AG. Um, mm. Nice. The, we had... <clears throat> I was thinking when it was coming down, I thought maybe this red plus blue double support is going to be tested, which is where I'm going to buy big time. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't. I don't think it's going to get there. The green one is not really a resistance. Not really. I'm going to keep this as, as a downtrend here. Potential downtrend, I must say, because I'm not sure if this counts, because you can see the this resistance is holding. There is this kind of a spike there. Is it a data error? I don't know. Where? But Which one? Uh, this one here. That's the, uh, that's the uh, silver squeeze, you know, from 2021. That's the spike there. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, It kind of ruins a little bit the chart, but mm -hmm. um, I think if uh, AG can break, uh, how, what do I say, 8.15 or so, maybe that red top band is going to be ignored entirely because the, the channel may be just this what, because this looks a little bit, you know, shaky and fishy and all that. So very, very spiky action there. APN... Some of them are really not very nice charts because look at this. I mean, yeah. there's not much data. It's very, very thin traded, very little volume and little, little companies. But the striking channel is here and the green one. So the, if the blue one breaks, um, I think it's going to get to the green and then possibly this giant downtrend will be broken too. Big is... Um, the Hercules Silver, which is doing terribly so far, um, to my surprise, I think some of them have, you know, we have been pulling back, pulling back, yes, but this is one of the worst um, affected ones from the pullback because it just, you know, it cleared that green support and it's coming down. The blue uptrend bottom band is getting tested right here. So, to save the day, to save to save the uptrend, the bullish case, it really has to bounce here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really has to. Otherwise, you know, there is also this golden sideways channel. You can excuse me, uptrend. Yeah, that was broken to the upside and is coming for the back test of it as well. So this level is a double support. And when I say double support, it means a support from both entirely different structures different formations because the blue and golden they are different uptrends and it is kind of a coins um kind of what is it what they call like a cluster of supports or an inflection point there confluence 
Yes, that's the <laughs> word I was. Um, this is BTG, B to gold. One, two, three, four touches on that blue support. We bounced. It was also the test on that golden bottom band. Okay, and the golden channel. Look at this beauty. One, two, th almost three, four, five touches on that top band. And another like four or five touches on the bottom band, right? The red one is a potential downtrend. So if it gets to that, but of course, I would be a buyer if it can break that golden top band anyway. I don't, you know, the target will be that red top band. That's the minimum target. And if we zoom in a little bit, you can see here, it's a beautiful downtrend on the golden. And if we break this 285, somewhere 280, 285, I think it's going to break free. And then the minimum target would be 350 or so, that red top band. So that will be a nice breakout. Curl, curl mining. So sounds French, maybe. <laughs> curl mining. Um, the red major resistance from the highs of 1996, right? First, second, third touch. I may argue there is another touch here, but it's either way. This is a very, very big uh resistance and i think this it is going to be cleared at the next attempt we have this green support you can see here we there's a nice bounce there was a trend that was broken to the, to the upside here i have removed it but there was this resistance line that was broken so curl is looking good and i think it's going to look awesome if it can break that red top and that red resistance that originates from 1996. The blue top band is a potential target slash resistance if it gets there. And I think if the red one breaks, that's not going to be a problem. Um, ELR, Eastern Platinum. Um, I did. Did you send me this one? I. I, I think I did. Yeah, I sent you a few. I, I think this one. Yeah. And, I think this uh, one. You said, Burak, this is this kind of chart you would like and i and i looked at it and it, it is indeed obviously it is a penny stock okay yeah yeah, yeah. right it's uh, <laughs> it's coming down from what uh 40 from 40 dollar 42 dollars all the way to well 7 cents <laughs> right almost going bust right um but the golden bottom and like this golden support has held that diagonal Right. If you zoom in a little bit, one, two, three, four touches and the golden resistance. So kind of a wedge that is broken to the upside. Now the red downtrend is intact, which is which means we're going to get to the red top band as a minimum target. And I was very happy to see that the, the blue bear flag was broken to the upside. You look at it, nice bear flag. And then the third touch was broken. Now it's it's going to try to break it for good. In my opinion, ELR is going to run at least to this maybe 60 cents from 24 cents. That is already doubling. Um, FNV, Franco Nevada. This is one of the best. Uh, why, why I say best is because, um, you know, the entire market has been going down, right? because of the silver correction and the gold correction. And look at this from 2007, right? 2007 eyes, um, when gold bought, gold topped and all the metals topped in 2011. Mm -hmm. This is 2011 and this, this one has never stopped. So a well-run company, <laughs> I must say, even though the underlying has been not going up, um, so we have this red perfect uptrend. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, right? Beautiful uptrend here. It's off the green support, that support together with the red, which means the red is has only two touches on the bottom end, which is uh, which means to me, it's you know, I would be shocked if it doesn't get to the green top band and break it to the upside. And the target would be 400 plus. So, and if we zoom in a little, it 
is it has back it has broken that golden resistance and it's back testing it and we have this purple bull flag so this little bull flag i think will be broken eventually and the breakout would be around 160 65 and then we get to that green resistance which has how many touches already one two three this is a kind of a fakey touch but it looks amazing i think this was the fakey you can see here but i think eventually we're going to get to that 200 level and then yeah pierce through so ne franco nevada looks good fsm uh which is fortuna silver mines and this is the covid crash so that spike but the red bottom man, the red top man, that red bottom man held. The blue bull flag is broken to the upside. The back test didn't really very nicely hold, like it didn't really. That was surprising to me. Mm -hmm. Went in after trying so hard to break out. But um, just recently, we have this black top band that was broken. And it is getting back tested, a little bit gone into it, obviously. We broke that golden resistance. Is it going to come down for a back test? I don't know. But if it does, that would be a buy signal already at yeah. 450. So I think the ultimate target is still uh, 10, which is that red top band. GGD, gold, gold resources. Um, I'm expecting this. So that golden resistance, broken and back tested, the blue bull flag, the green one is broken and the blue bull flag will be broken too. Um, and then we're going to go all the way to, well, basically 10, 12, you name it. But we first have, it, it first has to get out of this blue bull flag. So the idea here for the viewers um, is that you basically pause the video and mm, make these lines by yourself. Every chart is a log scale chart by the way so don't tell uh, you know don't don't <laughs> think oh, i can't match these charts on my own platform on trading view just you have to change it to log scale the y-axis is always log scale anything that is that has changed for five the price when the price goes up one two five ten times like these um like these miners you have to use log scale you can't use linear scale and go and look at the definition of log scale and what it gives you because it's going to take too long to explain it here. Um, this here is gold mining. That blue resistance will be broken. This here is the blue support. The golden bull flag is broken. This is another gorgeous chart, really. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's coiled for a giant breakout, right? It is really coiled, very, very big squeeze really squeezed you can see here and i think we're going to break it to the upside ultimately and the level to break is around 145 and um, i would be a bit careful if it gets to that level i'm going to put this in red and this in red so if it gets to the yeah that blue and red we may still see a little bit downside i may even argue that it could get to that red blue pull back and then a break so how to be very precise with these long-term lines but either way i think we bottomed out and gold mining from canada is going to be broken to the upside like this one and like this one so once it starts moving it start, it, it goes this here is barrick gold um, the blue uptrend is intact. The red downtrend was broken and its back test or its breakout has been disappointing so far. It just touched 1640. It's struggling. So the golden top band obviously has to be broken. This is the kind of a sideways channel, right? Two touches here, two touches there. And if and when we break that golden top band, which is around $18, $19, this is going to run. So it already is out of the red bull flag and it is inside the blue uptrend. That, that's why like, I would be really surprised if it comes down and breaks that blue support. I think 
our good breakout is going to be to the upside. Wishful thinking, but that's how I see it. Uh, Groy, one of the, nah, this is not good. I'm going to skip this one. GSVR, um, let's have a look. <laughs> Again, these are really tiny, tiny stocks. I'm not a big fan of this chart, but yeah, maybe that green one has to be broken. The golden is broken. This is an opening megaphone. And if it can break the red, first the green and then the red, that is going to open the way for blue and then possibly much higher. So, but first it has to break the green. Okay, that that um, needs to be resolved first. This is Hecla Mining, a very big company from long time ago. This is 19, <laughs> 1960. That's right? a long this time. Is older than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that young. Um, so that golden resistance rail, if it breaks, I'm, I would definitely be expecting it to get to that red top band. Wow. But, and you know, when it moves, it moves. Look at this. I mean, the momentum can really pick up if it can break this golden resistance. And that would be, I don't know, 50 year, more than 50 years, uh, resistance that is breaking. So it's the, that resistance it is around 8, 820, um, 830. I am gold. Um, it had broken the golden resistance. Okay. Nice. I have this one. One, two, three touches. We broke. The red resistance is broken and it's getting back tested right now. And it's holding kind of slightly. You can see one, two, there is this third touch. We broke it, back testing it. Either way, this is a very nice chart, but the upside is limited. I think we get to the green top band and then maybe we pull back a little bit and then that's going to take time. So with these, uh, with, with stocks, you know, sometimes you just have to take the money off the table and put it onto something else because, you know, it's, it's not leveraged. It's unless you're doing options. So um, these things may take time really. Um, Jaguar out of the blue is the red resistance, not so perfect, but it has to be broken. A bit of a messy chart, but the, the fact that the blue downtrend is broken is a good sign. Uh, JMS failed to break that blue top band. It's out of the golden and it got to the golden. This is Jupiter mines from, um, from down under. That blue top band, I mean, it rallied Try to smash it. I think there was some news action there. That was that's the reason for the spike. Okay. It's coming down for a back test on this blue internal support, and then from there, if it can break that blue top band for good, then it's actually clear skies. Even though like there's not much data, but it is still five years old data. Right. This is Kinross, one of the one of my favorites. Not only as a chart, but also as a you know, like an as a um, company because it's one of the good one, big ones, uh, good volume. I mean, it's not like what I'm trying to say is it's not a penny stock. Okay, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's boy, and that blue resistance is being forced. So try to break it. So far, failed. But the fact that the green uptrend has been broken to the upside is already a massive sign. That is a bullish, bullish breakout. And this resistance is from 2008 high. So that is going to look good when it does break. Um, KTN, uh, the Kutenai, Kutenai silver, the golden downtrend was broken, but the green resistance held and it penetrated back in. This is not ideal chart. That for it to keep on moving, that green top band has to be broken. Simple. MTA. <clears throat> MTA is inside the golden downtrend and the black resistance has to be cleared. The green one is broken and back tested. That black, the golden, they, they should be broken for good. Anything above 345 is going to look very, very yeah. positive to at least target that blue top band. Yeah. Um, MUX, which is McEwen, 
also one of the big boys. The green bottom band, top band, this is our downtrend. The golden downtrend is broken, which is inside the green one. We are now coming, it's coming now for a back test. The red bull flag was broken. This is what I mentioned in, you know, one of the uh, coverage from the March and April videos. And uh, these breakouts has been quite rewarding. I think it's kind of come down for a back test. Anything around 870, 880, I think is going to become a buy signal. And then it should get to at least $17 which is that green top band. That's a major resistance for it to come down one more time. Um, this is new Newmont, and the break of that blue support was disappointing. And I thought, well, this is bad because it cleared the golden and blue, but yeah. then finally recovered. This is a huge fakie. I, that just surprised me because it went, went straight back into the blue channel and they're out of the red. And I think it's going to target that green top band. That's the minimum if this green internal resistance can be broken. Uh, one one uh, thing here, Burak, if you can go back to the new one. Yeah. Typically what I see, you know, when you have these big fake downs of the chart, usually or often you actually go all the way back to the other side of that, you know, structure that you have. Uh, yeah. So potentially this one could, catch up big time and move all the way to the top blue uh yeah that fake yeah. down there so yeah first the green. what i see yeah yeah first the green yes yeah. then maybe pull back and then the green bull flag will be broken and then of course um it's going to get to that blue top band possibly yeah possibly possibly yeah. um it's a, also a long-term chart you see it is a kind of a ceiling here so it's going to be hard to move beyond that, but you never know. This is here is new found gold, and the green resistance is what drives it. Okay, the red one was broken and back tested, but it actually really couldn't really bounce off it. So the red one is no more. We have to remove it. That didn't work out, but it's that green resistance is quite spectacularly yeah, at precise, yeah. right? So if it breaks, I think minimum target is that blue top band and the breakout level would be just over five. <clears throat> OCG, outcore, outcrop, silver and gold. Um, This is a, just a second, also interesting chart, okay? So it's the red downtrend that is driving it, okay? two touches on the bottom, one, two, three touches. So that's a really beautiful downtrend. The golden line is a potential resistance. And I think if it can break both of them at the same time, and that if, if, if it breaks the red, I think the golden one will be broken too. Because the red one is really a long-term from the highs of 2007. And the minimum target would be that green top band. So. Anything above 32 cents is going to look very positive on this one. Um, PLG, which is platinum group metals. Okay. And um, we had the break of this blue resistance, break out of the green downtrend. It stopped at the golden, sorry, that golden support held, obviously. This is a really nice breakout. And this golden resistance, if it can be broken, we're going to get to that golden top end. That's the minimum yep. target of this breakout, which is going to be above seven. Do we have less than a minute? So we have less than a minute. Yeah, then we can cut it in two. So if, if that's the case, if you want to. But yeah, yeah, we have like two minutes or so, one minute left. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. This little red channel is a bull flag. So mm -hmm. if it breaks, then this golden resistance will be broken too. Um, that's how I see it, but very, very nice breakout coming our way. Two touches on both sides. This is a textbook ball flag in the making. And this is Sibanye. A lot of people watch this one for some yeah. reason. Yeah, they I do. Don't know why. What's the obsession with this one? 